In the heart of central Italy, nestled along the meandering Tiber River, the humble village of Rome began its ascent to greatness. It was a modest beginning, encompassing just two hills, but destiny had grand plans. Romulus, a figure shrouded in myth and legend, emerged as the sole leader after a tragic conflict claimed the life of his Sabine co-ruler, Titus Tatius. This pivotal moment solidified Romulus's grip on power, setting the stage for Rome's remarkable expansion. The people of Rome were a diverse mix, primarily composed of Latial tribes and Sabine settlers. However, it was the Latials who came to dominate, their customs and traditions leaving an indelible mark on the city's culture and political landscape. This Latial influence would prove to be a defining factor in Rome's development. Romulus was a beloved figure among the common folk and the military, but his relationship with the Senate, the city's ruling elite, was more complex. The underlying tension between charismatic leaders and the powerful Senate had far-reaching consequences for Rome's governance. Upon Romulus's mysterious death, or ascension to godhood, as some believed, the senators seized the reins of power, establishing a system of collective leadership. This marked a turning point in Rome's political structure, setting a precedent for future power struggles and transitions. In the wake of Romulus's passing, the senators, seeking to ensure a smooth transition and maintain their influence, made a shrewd decision. They would appoint a new king, but on their terms. Their choice fell upon Numa Pompilius, a Sabine known for his wisdom and piety. This marked the beginning of a new chapter in Rome's history, one characterized by religious devotion and a focus on law and order. Numa Pompilius's leadership ushered in a transformative era for Rome. Numa's emphasis on laws, religious practices, and social customs laid the groundwork for a more cohesive and harmonious community. But later history did witness recurrent periods of war and expansion. Later, under the guidance of Tullus Hostilius and Ancus Marcius, both appointed by the Senate, Rome rekindled its ambitions for territorial expansion. Through a series of military campaigns, they significantly enlarged Rome's domain, solidifying its dominance in the region. However, amidst this expansion, a new figure emerged, one who would change the course of Roman history. An ambitious Etruscan named Lucumo, hailing from the city of Tarquini, sought to make his mark in Rome. He cleverly positioned himself as an advisor to King Ancus Marcius, gradually gaining influence and prestige. Lucumo's ambition would soon propel him to the forefront of Roman politics. But how do you think his Etruscan heritage would shape his rule? Following the death of Ancus Marcius, Lucumo ascended to the throne in 616 BC, adopting the regal name Lucius Tarquinius Priscus, or Tarquin the Elder. His reign marked the beginning of a new era for Rome, one characterized by Etruscan influence and ambitious building projects. What grand visions did Tarquin the Elder have for Rome, and how would he transform the city? Tarquin the Elder embarked on a series of monumental construction projects that would reshape Rome's landscape. He initiated the construction of the Circus Maximus, a colossal stadium designed to host public games and spectacles. Additionally, he laid the foundation for the Temple of Jupiter on Capitoline Hill, a symbol of Rome's growing power and ambition. These projects were not merely about grandeur, they reflected a deeper desire to elevate Rome's status. But what other changes did Tarquin the Elder have in store for the city? Tarquin the Elder's vision for Rome extended beyond grand monuments. He also focused on improving the city's infrastructure. He strengthened the city walls, providing better protection against potential threats. He also initiated the construction of sewers, a remarkable feat of engineering for the time, aimed at improving public health and sanitation. These practical improvements demonstrated Tarquin's commitment to the well-being of his subjects. Drawing upon his Etruscan heritage, Tarquin introduced a new symbol of royal authority to Rome, the fasces. This bundle of rods with an axe represented the king's power to punish and execute. Tarquin's twelve bodyguards, known as lictors, carried the fasces as a visible reminder of his authority. This Etruscan influence added a new dimension to Roman governance. After nearly four decades of rule, Tarquin the Elder's reign came to an end. However, the Etruscan influence in Rome did not wane. Another Etruscan, Servius Tullius, succeeded him, ensuring the continuation of Etruscan customs and practices in Roman society. 
What new ideas and innovations would Servius Tullius bring to Rome? Servius Tullius proved to be a capable and effective leader. He expanded Rome's territory, incorporating the Quirinal and Viminal Hills into the city's domain. He also further strengthened the city's defenses with additional fortifications. Servius Tullius's reign marked a period of continued growth and consolidation for Rome. But how would the Etruscan influence impact Rome's relationship with other cities in the region? Despite the significant influence of Etruscan rulers, Rome maintained its unique identity. While the Etruscan cities shared cultural and linguistic similarities, they remained politically independent, sometimes acting as allies and at other times as rivals to Rome. This complex relationship between Rome and the Etruscan cities would shape the course of history in the region. Would Rome eventually surpass the Etruscan cities in power and influence, or would the Etruscan legacy continue to shape Roman society for generations to come? If you're as captivated by the story of ancient Rome as we are, be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel for more fascinating historical tales, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an episode. Share this video with fellow history enthusiasts, and let us know your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Together let's continue to explore the rich tapestry of the past.